What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're talking about a fragrance that's been pretty heavily requested for me to do a full review on. I uh, didn't realize there was so much interest in this. Obviously it meant I needed to start spending more time with it, which I have been doing over the last few days. And it's from the Valor series in the Emir line from Paris Corner. This is called A Chaos in the Ocean. And I believe it's supposedly a Bergamask clone if I remember correctly so let's dive into it stay tuned so before we jump into this this was sent to me as part of a haul video that I did a while back from Aroma Concepts. Their links are down in the description for both the UK market and the US market uh, with the 10% off code if you're interested in grabbing this if you decide. It's something that interests you, but obviously that has no effect whatsoever on what I think about the fragrance. But we are gonna just dive into this a bit further, so let's get into this review. So I don't keep the boxes anymore, so I don't have the box, but we can take a look at this, I believe to be faux leather not the real deal i believe it's a piece of synthetic tumbled print has uh, some embossing some information even a barcode embossed chaos in the ocean even has the note breakdown here bergamot lemon cal calone calione hedion seawood seaweed why did i say seawood and cedar and musk which we'll discuss that in just a little bit so you have some more information here on the bottom, this is actually quite the hefty bottle. You have the Amir logo here on top of the cap. The cap is magnetic, but it doesn't hold well enough in place. Like you can't pick the bottle up from it. And then it's got a decent atomizer. Does a good job. Let's talk about the scent. So when this one opens up, you're gonna get citrus. Don't get me wrong. It's not distinctively lemon. It's not distinctively bergamot. It's a sharp citrus, and the reason it's sharp is because the seaweed here is very salty. The ambroxan and musk kind of I think intensify the saltiness because it's a very sharp, bright, watery, but salty type of fragrance. It's it's quite nice. I have it right here on my arm. As it dries, it gets lovely because the cedar really starts to come in a bit more and kind of takes some of that sharp edge off. So I could see this being mistaken for being very synthetic um, because of the sharpness and the salty nature of the opening of this fragrance. But that's initially what I was kind of like, eh, it's okay, nothing special with my first impression well since i've had time to allow development dry downs and wearing experience and so on and so forth and my thoughts have changed a little bit on this one now admittedly it's still not my favorite opening but i've come to appreciate the opening more because it takes you on a bit of a path of kind of walking through i mean it's called a chaos in the ocean it's like when you first hit the beach and start to walk into the water that immediate smell like i'm i'm right here with the gulf of mexico heavily salted water and when you first get in there you have that sharp saltiness to it and obviously the more time you spend in it the more that subsides and you kind of get used to it that's the situation here it starts to tone down and settle in a bit more into this kind of driftwood smell in many ways even though it's not driftwood it's cedar wood but driftwood's typically kind of this saltwater logged piece of wood and when used in perfumery that's kind of the aroma it gives and it, this is very similar here but again the biggest difference is that sharp citrus at the top offers a bit of a metallic feel though uh, like I said overall sharp and musky salty type of smell so if that doesn't sound attractive to you you might want to steer clear of this one but if you've ever tried I believe Bergamask is what it's most notably related to I believe that's supposedly what this is a clone of I don't remember I didn't look into it I'm trying to remember what others have told me about it because I don't have any experience with that fragrance if this is indeed what that is cloning or inspired by uh, but as an individual it's a bright aquatic as saltwater marine aquatic as it gets very woody nuanced it's really two staged it doesn't develop greatly but it does change quite a bit from what you're going to get in that opening blast to the deeper dry down and I gotta say as it dries down it is a great hot weather summertime wear 
Now, in regards to performance, that Embroxen, it gives it some great staying power. The longevity on this one has been falling in the 8 to 10 hour range on my skin. Uh, for an aquatic, for a bright, breezy, saltwater aquatic like this, that's, that's pretty much in the beast mode territory. I mean, you get 10 hours of longevity on a fragrance. I mean, that's a strong fragrance. And that's the case here. It's quite strong. Projection is heavy. It's very heavy at first. In the first hour to hour and a half, it is really immensely powerful beyond arm's reach. I would say moderate to heavy range. Not quite heavy room filler, but dense enough while still being airy. So it, it really pumps and pushes off the skin. And the sillage here is on the moderate side. You will have a lingering trail. People will be able to smell you. I've had it on for several hours now and was talking to my wife just a few minutes before I came in here to record this video and she said wow that is really strong off of you when did you spray it and I told her and you know yada 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 point being I've had it on for like five hours now and uh, yeah it's still pumping pretty well off of the skin the sillage is on that moderate range I keep smelling myself pretty easily she smelled me really easily I didn't have to get super close for her to smell me I was several feet away you know half the lifespan of this fragrance and so performance across the board I wouldn't call this an absolute nuclear ridiculous absurd beast I would call it definitely in the beast mode territory but more of a wearable beast mode fragrance where people will smell you and I can't guarantee any compliments or anything like that but if you want this fresh you know aquatic summertime breezy marine feel this has the performance to really capture that for others around you. Final thoughts on A Chaos in the Ocean from Paris Corner. Uh, initially, I think I gave it like a 7 out of 10 was my first impressions rating. That has changed. It has gotten better uh, since I've spent time with it. I do like it a lot more than I did prior. I think it's a great fragrance at an 8 out of 10. This is every bit of an 8 out of 10 in my rating scale. Uh, this is worth checking out. Now, I would assume if it's a Bergamask clone, that Bergamask is crazy good compared to this uh, because that's usually the case with the niche fragrances when they're cloned. Usually they have that something extra, quality's a bit better and so on. But I gotta say, for what this is, it's actually quite nice. And the color scheme on this one really lends itself to what it's really all about. It's a saltwater fragrance. It's a sharp saltwater fragrance. If you like stuff like that, this might be worth looking into. It's definitely one that I'm gonna continue to wear now that I'm living by the beach. It just makes sense to keep something like this in rotation because I don't have a bunch of other fragrances that smell like it. So that's always that added bonus. Well, that's my thoughts and feelings on Paris Corner's Emir, A Chaos in the Ocean from their Valor series. That'd be great if this would focus. There we go. Uh, I really love the bottle design. I do. It's just something a little bit different from everything else. The magnetic cap, always a nice touch, just not strong enough to be able to pick the bottle up. But big hefty bottle great performer like I said it's a saltwater woody fragrance it's hard not to like especially when you spend time with it so thank you once again Aroma Concepts for sending this my way so I was able to spend some time with it and do this review I will be wearing this one more in the future it's going to make its way in and out of the rotation for sure and until next time I will say if you get your hands on a chaos in the ocean from Paris Corner and you give it a spray now there's always that chance that you'll thank me later have a good one guys